Hey, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. It's uh, Wednesday morning. It's actually my day off, you guys. Can you guys please give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to me? I love to bring you guys these cat videos every day. And there's getting to be more and more cats. Now, there isn't so many cats this morning so far. And I'm going to tell you why. When I came home last night, I went to town. I, I really fed them a lot. I had my husband go get me cat food and stuff while I was at work. And hot dogs. And I fed them a lot. And I had, ooh, bug. Big bug. Mm. <laughs> it's one of those, um, the cat's even chasing it. One of those, uh... That make noise at night. The cat was, tra he's trying to get it. He got it, I think. No, I don't know. But anyways, um, I fed them even in Cheritos, too. I had leftover, I made homemade in Cheritos one day last week. And I, I, I don't know. I could have probably still ate them. But, you know me. I'm a sucker for these cats. They're fu full of cheese and full of meat, so... I think they ate really good yesterday, and I know the skunks ate really good because you know what? I made a separate pile of food on the other side for the skunks. When I came outside, when I was feeding the cats, there was three skunks in one cat food bowl. You know, because I put the dry food usually in a bowl, but right now I just have water in all the bowls because it's so darn hot. I want to make sure these guys got enough water. I just gave them all clean water. See that? But, uh... I put, uh, I'm like, I can't have these skunks eating all my cat food all the time. So you know what I did? I gave them the rest of all the cold salads I made, like bacon ranch salad. What else did I make? That noodle salad with the olives in it. I had two loaves of bread that were getting a little bit old. I mean, nothing was wrong with them, but they were getting a little bit old. Those skunks must be so fat right now. They don't even move. They're not even afraid of us. They're on the porch like they live here. I think they think they're our pets. They really do because I think I told you this, guys, but I don't know if I did. I want you guys to know. My dog, when I let him out the other morning at 5 o'clock, he was chasing the skunk around the car, round and around. And the skunk's like, just leave me alone. I'm one of you. He thinks he's a dog or a cat, these skunks. And thank God they didn't spray him, you know. But uh, I have, what do I have out here right now? I got three packages of hot dogs, and I got five, six cans of Frisky's cat food. Yeah, I always get the pate because the black cat that lives on my porch, he don't want to eat anything else but the pate. They're spoiled. And then I got dry food out there. But I think there's not a lot around. It's really hot right now also in Michigan. Um, it's hot everywhere right now. I, I seen on the news in, in New York and Philadelphia. Everybody's got heat warnings again. So the cats kind of almost like when it's cold out, they try to just lay around and not do a lot. Imagine you got fur on you, you know. So I, I make sure that they got cold water, and I got cold water. Look at Blackie. He's over here on the side of the house, being a goof. Blackie, what are you doing? You know, he's eating great. I don't know. But I got like four things of water back in the yard too. So I got water everywhere. But you know what someone said once? And, and this is what I would ask you guys to do too. Put water out at your house. Because you never know who's walking by, who's just dying of thirst. Just imagine if you guys were an animal. And you were hungry and thirsty. And you seen some cold water somewhere how that would help you. It's a piece of food you stepped on, kitty. It's okay. He stepped on food and now he's all... <laughs> he went crazy. He's, he's licking his foot. Come here, kitty, Ricky. It's okay. It's food you stepped on. <laughs> Spoil. Um, but yeah, just imagine if, you know, you had nowhere to be and go and somebody always had even just water out. Even if you guys just put water out, believe me, all the animals that come by and the birds, I always notice the birds are always sitting on 
my dog's bowls in the back drinking a sip of water as they go throughout their day. Look, isn't this kind of funny, you guys? We only got two cats here right now. The both of them are Siamese, and they don't even know they're related, but they both have the same dad. I mean, I don't think they know they are. They're a year apart. One was from last year, and one was this, this new little guy. Oh, he's so darn cute, you guys. I'm telling you, he can eat like a trooper. I just can't even take it. Now, that little black cat that I love, too, I love them all, but he was here last night. He came running when I came home, so he's getting to know who I am. Oh, you guys, it made me so happy. He was running. Come on, KKs! Now, see, they'll all come, and I'll stop filming, and there'll be another 10, 15 cats here, just because there's not a lot here now. I'm here actually 15 minutes later than I was yesterday, but the only thing I can think of, here comes a tuxedo or a cat, um, and, and there's another cat behind the tree, so there's one, two, three, four, five, just six, seven cats here, um, is that I fed them so well last night. I mean, all that extra food that they were extra hungry from me running out of food yesterday, I went to town. Look at these two. Look at him going in the car. What you doing, baby? Look at him. He went in the car with that little body of his. <laughs> I love him. Well, I'm going to... What I can try to do, what I will do, is since I'm home... Hi, Mr. Tuxedo. Hi, baby. Um, I'm not going to feed him late tonight in the dark. I'm going to feed them before it gets dark, around 8, 8.30. And I know they'll all be hungry and coming around by then. I'll start calling them. And I'll make another video and I'll slap it up here so you guys can see what they're like at nighttime. Hopefully they'll be more hungry by then. And hopefully, you guys, it doesn't storm. We're supposed to be getting like these really bad storms at night. Now, yesterday it didn't do anything. I was really surprised. So... I'm hoping by 8, 8.30 we can have another whole crowd here today and I can give you guys really good video of these cats because I'm telling you I have about 25 to 30 cats and it seems to be getting more all the time. Actually, till I got them fixed last year, that's about what I had, about 30 cats. So we're some new ones, like I said, that came from other neighborhoods that it's it's hard and I'm working full time so I gotta get with that lady again that two or three that really need to be fixed is that thief there's a gray cat and the Siamese cat and she said she tried and tried she went on other streets and she couldn't catch the thief or the Siamese cat they're smart she goes they're smart cats I could not get them so maybe she can try again because I don't want to keep having extra babies out here I, I don't care in the summer like this they got it good but I, I when the winter comes and it's cold that's what kills me it just rips me apart because if I could I'd let them all in my house see the three on the sidewalk you guys come on little Siamese he's just so little so he he's just I don't think he's getting any bigger I wonder why he's so little like that. He's just so cute. See, the other one is same from the same, well, from the same father. I don't know if the other one's getting any bigger. He's just so darn cute. I just want to pinch him. He's so cute. Isn't that weird? They don't even know they're related. They're sitting next to each other. Here comes, this is what I think the Siamese mother is. This cat right here. This was one of these babies from last year. She's got, her face is two different colors. One half, it's real light. It's like almost straight down the middle and the other half's black. It's so pretty how it does that. And there's another one that Thief had that looks just like this one too. All right, you guys, give me a like and a share. Uh-oh, get out street, kitty. And a big thumbs up is okay. And a big thumbs up. And please subscribe. I want you guys to be my friends and come here every day and share these cats with me. I got nobody. These people on the street don't like, they don't care about these animals. I want this to be something for us, for us to have friends. 
and to talk about the cats. Give me some suggestions. I asked a question yesterday. Nobody answered it. Do you think these cats know each other or their mother and father when they grow up? I don't know. That's something I don't know. Maybe somebody can give me a reply on that. I want this to be our space, our time, you guys to come here and relax. Hear me yak on. <laughs> and be friends. So God bless you all. Lisa sharing life stories with you. You guys have a great day. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.